Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am giving you another video for candy table treats. This time I am doing a baby boy which is pretty much blue and white. So if you want to see what I created just keep on watching and remember to please subscribe, hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a video and like, share, do all that good stuff. So let's get into this video because I want to show you some other ideas that I didn't do the past two other baby shower treats. So let's get started. I am starting off with some Rice Krispie treats just like how I did it in my very first video but this time I'm making just basic squares and some Rice Krispie treat pops. I am showing you these two items because I am also going to decorate some jumbo marshmallows and some pretzel rods and you guys just to let you guys know i am just giving you ideas i am not actually doing anything for an actual baby shower but i just wanted to give you some other cool ideas so you could come up with for your you know candy table so as you can see here i put one stick of butter and one bag of marshmallows and just waited until it was all melted once it was all melted i took it off the stove which i didn't do the first time so it caramelized so this time I took it off the stove and added all the Rice Krispies right in the you know this thing <laughs> I forgot what it's called guys so as you can see here now I'm putting all the mixture in to this clear pan and I am just going to smooth it out towards the end so it could try to be as even as flat as possible I am going to put this aside once it's done flattening down and just let it harden up for about 30 minutes. You don't need to put it in the fridge, you just let it chill in on the side. So guys, it is time to melt and decorate my items and I wanted to give these candy melts a second try because maybe the first time was just not good, but the second time was even worse. So definitely no for these candy melts, just saying. So what I did was I put it in the microwave for a minute at defrost and then another 30 seconds and I think I overcooked this because it kind of got a little chunky, which is so frustrating i just don't this is that's it i'm not using this chocolate ever again ridiculous so for it to be more smooth and keep a little bit more melted i put a tablespoon of oil doesn't matter what kind of oil i used olive oil and it came out smooth for just a little bit because this chocolate is just ridiculous i need to actually like a candy melt pot because i heard that's really good anyways i am using this stick and then I am going to poke some holes in this marshmallows just to leave you a little suggestion. I will probably stick the sticks in the chocolate and then spread the marshmallow a little bit open where the holes were at to maybe have a little bit more, you know, I guess a little more grip to them. But it was honestly fine because it did not fall off the stick so that is a win so as you can tell here i am dipping it halfway in this mason jar which you guys eventually will guys see me switch out because this whole part was not big enough because i don't know what i was thinking but you know we always had to you know <laughs> you know trial and error guys like you could tell right here some of the chocolate was chunky and I think I overdid it with the putting it in the microwave because I didn't think it was melted enough but they still came out pretty cute and I used these sprinkles guys for Michaels for only a dollar these little packages goes a long way because I still have half of those um, sprinkles in that little bag definitely worth it see it didn't come out too bad you could tell a little bit with the blue on top but it's fine people gonna eat it anyways <laughs> but yeah that's it for the marshmallow and we're going to be off with the pretzels just like how we did the marshmallows we just half dip it in this chocolate you know tap off the access don't worry the chocolate i mean sorry don't worry the pretzel rod won't break unless you're really pounding it but you shouldn't just lightly tap and decorate tap and decorate no actually you gotta dip tap and decorate okay that's all you gotta do Store. 
too bad you know just for just trying it out and give you guys some ideas on how it will look so let's get on to the rice crispy treats this was pretty easy all I, you could see me here was trying to cut it as perfectly as possible I took it out the pan as you could tell it easily came out because I did spray it before putting it in the pan so it does not get stuck Right now, I am spreading apart and just trying to make them as perfect as possible into squares. You guys, if you guys have cookie cutters, use the cookie cutters. I did not have any cookie cutters that were square, so I just eyeballed it, trying to make it as perfect as possible, and you know, they didn't come out too bad, you know? They actually taste really yummy. I love homemade Rice Krispie treats. You know, I think they're way better than store-bought, but that's just my opinion. I ended up doing kind of two ways with these treats. I took some aside and didn't put any sticks in them. And then the other ones was just Rice Krispie Treat Pops. And yeah guys, they came out pretty cute. You guys gonna see soon. Mm -hmm. For these treats, I am using the white chocolate and just like the uh, blue and the white, make sure that it comes out as baby blue. I just put it in the microwave for defrost for a minute and 30 seconds and it still came out chunky, guys. I don't understand. It was melted, but I had a little bit of chunks in it. Uh, I don't know. But as you can see here, I took the stick and dipped it into the chocolate just a little way. That way, just like cake pops, guys pretty much just like k-pops as you can see here i was a little bit lazy and did not want to dip it and just grab the spoon and put the chocolate halfway through the rice krispie treats and just a few seconds you guys will see me take a fork put it in the blue chocolate that was still melted surprisingly and i just drizzle it on top of those ones that didn't have the stick just to give it a little different feel Instead of just having just straight up sprinkles everywhere, I just decided just to do this little drizzling method. Guys, came out so cute, honestly. turned out not too bad not too bad and just like the other treats we're going to dip or just spread out the chocolate all over the treats and sprinkle and then you're done how simple are these treats these ideas i hope you guys got some inspiration off this video because i know i did well if i ever have a boy baby shower to get to but um <laughs> definitely hope you guys got some ideas remember if you guys are new here please please do me the kind favor subscribe to my channel share this video give me a like give me a comment do all that good stuff to make my heart happy i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video 
I'll stay towards the end so you can see how they all turned out. All nicely, cutely displayed. Not really displayed, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do just for the video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. How do I know what I mean to you? Yeah.